I'm rolling out of bed and then I'm putting on whatever this is and then going out. So when there is a car approaching, she's actually supposed to run to me. This time she's slowly walk. Other times she's not coming at all. And uh, yeah, basically just stand still and let the car pass. I don't know if that's smart that I trained her in that way. I just thought that um, if she's standing still, then it's at least likely that she's going to get hit. But I, I'm also thinking what if she's one time like standing still with in the street and not like at, at the outer border um, yeah but for now I just leave it like that because the alternative would be her standing and then my biggest fear is actually that when the car is approaching that she would then start to run into the street and then would get hit so I think it's better if she associates car with standing for now and then we'll we'll see <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll learn something new i'm constantly like looking at how other people train their dogs so that might get some inspiration about what i can do better or differently so it's a constant changing thing but she also yeah like she learned and unlearned quite a few things and she's pretty smart so that that is quite easy with her It's Monday morning. I don't know if I already mentioned that. I am sweaty and I'm also very wet from the rain. I ran a little bit with her, not all the way. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to take a shower now and then get ready because I have a job interview in the city. I am way too late and oh my god, I don't know who can relate. I hate turtlenecks. And every time I'm wearing something with a turtleneck, I feel like Uncle Festa from the Adams family. I don't know. I don't know where that is coming from. My hair is still wet, but I really have to run now. So, oh my god. Yeah, it's going to be okay. city the whole day and had two job interviews and then we went to a mall and uh, bought some stuff and now I'm home I have eaten something but I forgot to film it or take a picture of it so it was a sandwich a very expensive one with chicken and mango chutney sauce and some salad um, I will try to find a picture of it <laughs> on the internet. I don't think something like that exists, but it's from a chain. So it was like a bakery. And then I had a chai latte. And now I am making some more food. So I don't really have that much to choose from. Uh, so I have to have a look and then you will see what I'm making. I, I have no clue. So I bought these for Kita today. Oh, she loves them. It's like a little meat. Yeah, beef, pork and chicken, I think. I don't know why it's... The information is like... I guess they're more chicken than beef or pork. I don't know. Um, but she loves those. Uh, this is what I picked up for her getting one of those now i'm gonna eat i think one of those uh, plant-based schnitzels um 
and I think this here and since I'm very very hungry well I don't know but I might eat the whole bag really have to check calories I have no idea how many calories I'm eating especially when I'm like going oh by the way it's super dirty um especially when I'm like going to a bakery and something just to pick something up I have no idea how many calories I'm eating and that's not good at all <clears throat> so I'll try to uh oh that was a lot of oil uh, god so I'm trying to find out the different ingredients from that sandwich and then try to punch them into my waitress app so like for example i know that there was chicken on it i know that it was uh, uh fried yeah then mango chutney i think there's like a uh, i'm thinking in norwegian now it's super weird when i'm talking norwegian the whole time uh, i'm thinking in english and or german and when i'm i'm, I'm want to speak english i'm thinking in norwegian i don't know my brain is just fucked up fucked up for me uh, changing languages all the time so basically i find out what the uh, ordinary mango chutney has in calories and then i just punch it in same with these if i don't find the exact exact same brand though my my the app i'm using i think it's life sum it an has the name life i don't know but <laughs> the app i'm using is i think swedish origin or a lot of swedes are using it so this is a f swedish brand so i might find it um but sometimes you just don't find the exact same brand and then yeah it's basically just a guessing game so and i'm always trying to punch in like go for the variant that has more calories than uh others for example just to be sure that I'm eating lower carrot. Does that make sense? Does it make sense? I don't know. But I'm punching in. I'd rather punch in more calories than uh, too little. Yeah, but uh, I'm frying this now. Yeah, since we're weird today. <coughs> Kita, was machst du da? What's this going to be? Okay, never mind. Um, I'm eating two of those since they are small and I'm super hungry. I will probably regret this. Uh, this here is just potatoes, green beans, carrots and <coughs> onions. And I took too much ketchup. This is sugar-free ketchup, uh, which doesn't make it any better. What is the challenge here? Okay. Uh, I know. Yeah. You have a lot of food over there. Uh, I have to clean her uh, food bowls too. Uh, so, anyways, this is what I'm going to eat. Um, it will probably have a lot of calories, but it's also like my last meal of the day. So, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Hello, it's Tuesday and I forgot completely to say something. Uh, I ate... Oh my god, my dog is so cute right now. Hi! <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, hi. Hi, Booby. Hi, Booby. Oh, she's so cute. And he's distracting me from working. Um, oh, it's so cute. Um, so, I, it's Tuesday. She's kicking against the door. Um, I have it's uh, blueberry pancakes i'm not proud of it <sighs> because it's not good because it's white flour now she's trying to eat the door oh she's eating something else wait a second i have to get that it's a part of my camera anyways i ate blueberry pancakes with white flour which and a little bit of sugar i tried to not put too much sugar in it but still it's sugar um 
Kita. Stop biting. Um, she's super bored. She wants to go outside, but I'm not finished yet. <sighs> Pancakes. Um, yes, I have to write a proposal for a project and I have to finish a design challenge for a job interview. And I don't have that much time left, so I have to get going. So I actually set a clock right now, which is going to, <sighs> which is going to the alarm is going off soon. Um, but I give myself some more time because now I talked. I just I uh, came about that I haven't even recorded anything today, and I really wanted to uh, at least <laughs> finish one week with like continuous. Uh, um filming because we're trying to make this habit but yeah um i don't feel so great from the pancakes because as i said it's like non-nutritional the only thing that was good in them was the blueberries uh, so i have to see to that i will eat some vegetables or vegetable based meal later to balance that out but yeah oh no you saw the messy corner in the background um so yeah the only thing that was healthy was the blueberries in the pancakes i'm not proud and i'm not happy about it and i don't particularly feel good so i will see to that i eat a planned based focused meal later in the day and yeah continue working now because uh, time is running out but yeah talk to you later then do you want to eat my food? Probably. Well, I made this, so I actually just cooked some broccoli and some cauliflower and put some cheese on it with uh, pepper salt. No, not for you. Not for you. No, that's poisonous for you because there is nutmeg in it. <clears throat> so nutmeg, salt, pepper. Um, yeah, and I am going to eat that and uh, yeah, I won't cancel out that I will that I will eat some snacks, but I don't really have any snacks, so I might go shopping afterwards <clears throat> but uh yeah, uh yeah, I haven't decided yet one hundred percent if I'm going to go shopping like a grocery shopping afterwards or not i might also just do it tomorrow morning because i really want to like write a list and make a plan of what to eat and not go just to get snacks because then i end up uh, getting what what i'm craving and what i'm craving right now is i'm not really craving anything oh well yeah just normal sweets actually like i don't know gummy bears and stuff like that but <laughs> Mm, they're a bit different in Norway and Scandinavia than in Germany so I am craving German sweets actually and I don't have them which is a good thing but anyways I'm going to eat that now watch a little bit of YouTube and oh you have your food in your bowl you're just not eating it hmm? people will think that I'm not feeding you but I am feeding you. I'm buying you very expensive food. You're just not eating it. She's only she's always waiting. <coughs> like she's always waiting uh, throughout the day. So I give her food and she won't eat it and save it up for the evening because she thinks that there might be something better coming along. So when I'm basically going to bed, she is starting to eat and then she just eats everything the the whole night. And then in the morning, her food bowl is always empty, so I know that she is eating, but she's literally waiting until the last second to, until she knows that she has to eat it because there won't be anything else coming. But this is also kind of my fault because sometimes when I'm eating stuff like fish, for example, or chicken, and there's not much spices or not any spices on it, then she gets some while I'm eating. and. Uh, I'm not the only person who does that, <laughs> so we should really stop doing that. So she'll enjoy her food again, but also 
yeah, I'm trying to buy different kinds of food for her and find some that she really enjoys and is not just uh, eating because she has to, because she's hungry. So, yeah, but it's difficult with her and food. Hmm. Yeah. some basic makeup I try to remove my lash extensions I don't even know if you can hear me because the <laughs> hoover is loud and the laundry is on I try to remove my lash extensions with um, is a castor oil yes because it's good for the lashes to grow uh, but it didn't work so I'm stuck with uh, this in-between solution because I had to cancel my appointment as my I'm going into the into the office to talk it's a little bit loud <sighs> better I try to remove my lash extensions uh, with castor oil because it's like this in-between state where a few of them have uh, most of them have fallen out the rest is like just sticking like holding on for dearest life I have no idea and usually it worked uh, with my old lash specialist expert, <laughs> the lady who did my lashes. Um, it worked when I would just put on some olive oil actually for them to just like fall out. This time I used castor oil because it's uh, actually helping the lashes to grow as well. And like it's good for, um, for care. Uh, nothing happened, so none of them came out. Um, so I'm just going to live with this. Well, you can see it here. It's a bit like there is one. It's going far astray. Anyways, I'm going just going to live with this now because I don't have time to... Uh, I had to cancel my appointment that I had this week, tomorrow, because I don't have time. Um, I might try to book in a new appointment next week. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> everything is kind of like uh, yeah, a little bit... Uh, busy at the moment although I shouldn't be as busy as I am because I am unemployed um, but yeah I just yeah didn't have time but um, yeah so I'm just gonna live with this right now I, I put some mascara on and I actually will try again to remove them tonight with a different kind of oil uh, and hope that they will come off because I really want them to have a breather in between. So before I uh, get new extensions, I really want them to uh, be able to recover a little bit. But yeah, uh, what's going to happen now? I still haven't eaten anything um, and I don't have time to make something now because it's uh, 11 o'clock, I think, now. Uh, and at 12, I have a meeting and I have some 
thing to prepare for it. So uh, I'm just gonna, I just hear that the laundry is finished. Just gonna hang the laundry and then I'm gonna sit down and prepare for the meeting and then I'm gonna have the meeting. And then I think I will just skip breakfast, which is not good at all. And just jump right into lunch. Uh, and yeah, I also have to clean the kitchen, actually clean the whole apartment. That's why the uh, robot Hoover is in action. <laughs> Although I don't know what's happening, but the map is always deleting itself. So it's kind of like trying to find its way and bumping into everything and going into the wrong room. So I have to check that as well when I have the time. But for now, it's just... Uh, yeah, just running aimlessly around. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's uh, if it does the work or some work, then it's better than no work. If you get what I mean, because I don't have time to Hoover now. I will do it later manually. But yeah, this is what is going to happen. Uh, yeah, and I will show you my lunch later. So, bye.